Sitä herra Frick. Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. <laughs> Your wife is obeying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. There is no longer freedom in Winchester. None are safe from his blade. Selwyn punishes criminals, as it should be. He's the worst criminal of them all. You cannot slander and keep your tongue. You cannot walk the elite of our streets, mocking our laws, our king's edicts. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse if not the people of Winchester? I am but your humble servant. I will kill you for this. Protect your servants, Winchester. You will not pervert justice. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table. Where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree.